Hey, my name is Shanshan. I sell art on shanshan.co, and today we're going to react to Martini. Hold on, Martina and Hansi. Uh, it's this artist couple. I think it's mostly the girl. I'm not sure. Um, she's mostly in the videos. So I'm thinking she's the artist, and he does kind of crafts in the background. I'm not sure. And they run a channel called Nerd Forge. <laughs> It's kind of a variety channel, so they do not only painting, they do kind of arts and crafts, kind of connected to like D&D &D world, like doing little sets and railroad stations and all kind of stuff on their channel. It's very kind of very broad spectrum. Their painting is involved, but uh, she doesn't primarily just do painting. She does um, leather books, kind of these little sets that she does. I don't know what you call in mini installations, I guess. So she has a lot of variety to her artwork. So I'm going to check out the painting portion. I think that's more what my audience is interested in. So this one is, I followed a Bob Ross tutorial on my van. <laughs> so really smart right off the bat. You connect Bob Ross and camping van. So van life is huge. Bob Ross is huge. You combine the two. Glorious. It does have 1.2 million views. So let's see what it's about. There's water everywhere and the water is pouring over the painting. I have to go inside. This isn't working. I'm just, I'm hoping the painting will be fine. Shout out everyone. Today we're going to try to... So really interesting right off the bat, you have this hook like it's rain on top of her van where she's doing the painting and she's probably painting in acrylic. So you're like, oh my God, the painting's ruined, right? So it's a great hook. You're like, is the painting going to survive? So it's a really great hook right out of the bat. Follow a tutorial by the masterful Bob Ross. Since I love complicating things, we're not doing it on this canvas. We're doing it on our van. Here's the setup. We're currently in my backyard. We got a van parked here. I got my camping chair, some power for the compressor and camera tripod. And also we have this tent because the sun is here and I'm dying. But yeah, let's get to work. So really good use. Um, she has real time where she's kind of explaining what it's going to be about. And then she's time lapse. The part that's boring which is kind of taping it she's showing it but just show it really fast so that's a really good technique to kind of move you quickly through the video a lot of different camera angles here so a lot of good power stuff to the video and suddenly it started raining i don't understand this weather we messed everything out look at that this is a very big canvas and i'm kind of intimidated <laughs> i'm gonna use this air pressure what's it called air pressured sander random orbital sander random orbital sander <laughs> It's so fast. But first we need protective gear. Protect yourself. <laughs> I guess this is point of no return then. Mm. Oh. So skip ahead a little bit. Perfect at all because we're gonna overpaint everything anyway. So now I just gotta go get my laptop so we can find this Bob Ross tutorial and start following it. I'm sorry, our neighbors is mowing the lawn. The struggles of filming outside. There's no sounds in the basement, just cats. But anyway, we got a set up, way. <laughs> I thought I could show you my paint. The thing is, it's a little bit harder when you're gonna paint on a car because you can't just use regular paint because it, you know, the sun is gonna, I don't know, bleach it, fade it, it's called. <laughs> It's gonna fade the colors over time. So we have to use uh, automotive paint. So we're gonna use this. The problem is it's meant for airbrush. So the paint itself is very, very thin. So we're going to mix it in with this gel that is, well, it's basically a thickener for the paint. And this dries clear. I hope I can manage. <laughs> Let's flip and do this. So the motive I've chosen is called Blue Ridge Falls. It's season 30, dear God, uh, episode 13. Hopefully not too complicated. <laughs> but so skip ahead a little bit. Starting to look like something let's see what's next just mix some color on the brush it lives a little tree <laughs> there lives a little see? tree there he is and basically we're using that same corner all the way down it's really nice she's actually showing the video of bob ross so you can see it following along which that's is really clever um because that gives you more context of what the painting style of bob ross is which most people know you know that are painters you know 99 percent of us but for those who don't, that kind of gives you the feel of like, oh, he has a soft, happy trees. <laughs> trees. I have one of those fan brushes, one of these. Okay, let's try. Just gonna load that brush up with color. See the details. What are you doing here? Ah, this is scary. Why is this more scary than painting the mountains? Right there. All right, all right. It's not half bad. Looks like a tree-ish. Kind of goes like back and forth. And now I think we have to add some highlights. They don't look as good as his, but they're okay. <laughs> 
it's okay. <laughs> no, no. I'm being boiled alive. I was not made for this heat, not at all. The way he painted rocks. Let's skip, skip ahead a little bit. Mist. We can do mist. Let's do it. So I guess she's using time lapse to speed that up, which is really smart. Because that would take a long time to film, so. It's a pretty really cool effect with this really dark and white. I was really skeptical because she does other stuff besides painting, so I was like, sudden, is she gonna be a good painter? Windy. The tent broke in like three places, so we tried to fix it with some duct tape, but it keeps blowing and now it's raining and it's very chaotic right now. So it's really great with this story element with the rain coming down in the middle. She is prepared for it ahead of time. I think she might be in England, I'm not sure exactly, but it's obviously rainy season there, but it, it has a great element to paint on a rainy day, a painting on outdoor, because it's a disaster, right? So it's just this ongoing thing. Is it going to finish? Is the paint going to be washed away? You know, it's just great tension for the storyline. Let's go ahead a little bit more here. On it. So for example, if you have a rock, you can put some yellow and send some reds in the light and then put some blues in the shadow to make it more interesting. So I'm going to do that with the whole thing. And this is the most fun part. Oh, okay. All the details. So it's been a couple of days just because I needed the paint to dry properly. Properly. But now we have to clear coat it. I would prefer to keep it this way because I really love that, mm, that paint look, but we gotta protect it against the element. That's more important. Yeah, you definitely got a clear coat. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. There's more, she talks about the final product and everything. So really, really good video, I think. A lot of tension, a lot of drama. I got this really crazy purple hair, so you catch your attention as well, as well as bright red. So a lot of popping colors she's wearing in her clothes as well to kind of catch your eye as well. Let's go on to the next video. This one is called, I made a post-apocalyptic metro station. Is this a full scale? We shall see. Wanting something like a product review or a specific project, usually we have to say no because we don't want to do things that doesn't fit in on the channel. Well, that was until PUBG Mobile asked us if we wanted to make a post-apocalyptic diorama for their new game mode. And I've wanted to make something like- So this is really great. She's talking straight to the camera, which is a great way with the kind of a nice background. The, I mean, you get a feel for, you know, what kind of books are in the background. She has her YouTube playlist medal from getting, you know, so many views, great lighting, that yellow tent light you know got a little bit of pop there obviously the crazy hair again that has a lot of attention she has braces i have braces too so <laughs> long long time ago <laughs> probably like two weiser aged ago but anyway let's keep going oh, we're gonna Thank skip you. ahead a little bit we managed to do this yesterday the blue stuff you see here is called xps foam it is a bit denser and nicer to work with than regular styrofoam i attached this pvc pipe here to make like a little tunnel and finally added some foam coat so great detail shots here, here. Just to level it out and give it some some texture so today we are going it's also really smart they have the nerd foregate in the background so let's keep going let's skip ahead a little bit So yeah, you gotta have the checkerboard, that's classic. It's a really good set technique on painting this. Ooh. Definitely looks creepy. It's day four and yesterday we managed to do this paint on the bricks and it's just it looks so grimy and nasty and I love it. But now today let's go ahead a little bit. Oh it's really gross. <laughs> He's making it really grimy. It's like wow. It's very funny because my dad does this kind of um, railroad building. But not this imaginative. 
Yesterday, before I went home, I added some of these puddles, but they seem to have kind of sunken into the gravel. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the puddles. So she's using a lot of zoom shots there to go right really detailed to see where she's painting, zoom it back and forth, pull back outs for the overall shot and then pull back in. So those kind of detail shots, which is called B-roll, they really build up the story to the painting. More of the wet ground, the mud, because I think it looks kind of too... Let's skip ahead a little bit. So good in this diorama. Mm. I love them. But while we're waiting for Hansi to finish up the crates and work on the oil barrels, we are going to add some fences in here and then just make things look rusty and blend in together. Fences. So her boyfriend definitely does some stuff. That's for sure. He's not a camera for most part, which is interesting. So I'm not sure what his skills are in this project. Very nice detail shots. You can kind of see what's going on there. Ah, I see what that is. Good morning, it's day six, and do you know what time it is? Time to steal our neighbor's gravel. And this time I even come prepared. I have made an easy collect, easy wash pouch. Let me show you how it works. First, we just gotta move to our location unseen. Clyde is following, obviously. He loves going on trips with me. Then, so it's really funny she added this kind of quirky blog scene in the middle of us. You know, don't need to have this, but it just adds a lot more drama to the story. So it's a really good story element building. Open up the pouch. Clyde, stop hugging. Then we open up the pouch like that. Clyde, my God. Then scoop the gravel into the pouch. Okay, we'll skip ahead a little bit. So here she's time lapsing, do it faster. Really fast time lapse. And she puts the foreg on the as a and I have spray print there. The basement to get some light. <laughs> but there's basically just one more thing we're gonna do, and that is we're going to paint these very cute little soldiers <laughs> that we have 3D printed and a monster. And luckily we found this model that really looks like... So that's super cool. She has a 3D printer. So a 3D printer, you can print any kind of small objects. You can paint a shoe, you can paint figurines, and then just throw them in there and make it look... You just take a traditional kind of model road, railroading scene, beef it up and make it look like a subway scene. It's a really cool video build. Let's go ahead a little bit. And by the way, this is my first time making miniatures, so go easy on me, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to put the monster... It's very good for the first time. I'm surprised though. Tunnel. Adding some glue, press, and then put the hipster dude like right here. Finally, the military guys about here. I can't believe we made it. I actually think this diorama is my best. So it's really cool. She has a talk at the end to kind of describe her work. So that's a really strong work. It's kind of cool because it's a sponsor video, but it's still like super cool. She has four gay in there, so she has her own signature. So let's keep going. This one is painting my first layered resin painting. It's a me, Martina. Lately, I've seen this concept floating around on the internet where people paint fish, yes, fish specifically, on several layers of epoxy resin to create like a 3D effect. So it ends up just looking Ooh. super realistic. And so I thought, okay, this is real cool. Uh, could you do it with something else than fish? I don't know. I haven't seen it done yet. So I'm going to try to fix that. Either that or prove that it really doesn't work with anything other than painting fish. What I want to try to create is a fantasy landscape painting using epoxy resin to separate all my layers. So you have the background on one layer, foreground on another. You get the gist. I don't actually know if this is going to create the effect I'm hoping for. So let's go ahead a little bit. So it's really cool she's using all these different materials. It's very different than a normal painting channel. Really great zoom shots there to build the story with B-roll there. Ah, good morning. <laughs> it's been about 24 hours. The epoxy is completely cure. And luckily nothing happened to the mold. Everything is fine so far. <laughs> and now I can finally begin painting on this resin. My first layer is just going to be sky and some clouds and hopefully I've planned everything well because I'm really nervous about not being able to go back and check. Let's go up a little bit. Ooh, pretty. It is the most satisfying tape peeling I have ever done. These edges, man, and the clear epoxy. Mm. And now I'm just really hoping this will not destroy the paint. Adding another layer there. 
So he's had some more epoxy. Let's scroll ahead a little bit. So you can see how the epoxy works. Let's go ahead a little bit. Interesting, she has all her patrons listed here. That's kind of, they probably pay to go to her, join a patron, so she gives them a chip uh, throw out. She has her VIPs on the other side, so that's a really interesting way to kind of build your audience and reward them for watching your channel. Those stupid ads. She has a little uh, blog element here. Let's go ahead a little bit. I'm just going to use a brush to get this onto all the places I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna put these rails here and then balance my UV lamp on top of that. And let it stay for like two, three minutes. I don't know what that does. I guess that's a heat lamp. Let's scroll ahead. Ooh, trippy. Endless resin. So yeah, with resin you gotta heat it to get out rid of all those bubbles. Okay guys, before we pop this thing out of the mold, here's an ad. Let's see the final product. Uh oh. It looks smooth. We might not have to do any sanding. Uh, why did I put so much glue? I didn't think it would be this thick. <laughs> Let's just fast forward and get all of this off. That looks really complicated. I think they're going to have to sand that sides off. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> we got to sand it anyway. There are still some bits and pieces of the foam board left on the sides here, and it's a little bit uneven. So it's sanding time. So let's get through that. Now, let's have a look at the final result. It's kind of hard to tell on camera how cool it is. It's definitely a very, very original idea. Great music, drama. So let's take a real quick look at their website just to get a feel. So she has kind of art prints, merch, book binding. So a really nice setup. She also has a book binding course, which is super smart. So you can really make a lot of money off of that. So she's, you know, and the art prints, of course. And if we go back to, so she only has one, 101 video. So just really outstanding, got to a million views. Here and welcome to so she has a really nice um, intro. You got a nice banner to help it out here. Um, she has uploads, popular. So not too much on the front page. She could probably add more with the playlist. <coughs> Cause I think um, if you look at the videos, she's doing um, book binding, fluorescent cyberpunk. She's got a little bit of van life going in there, um, building a van out. So. A lot of really different projects all around kind of the magic uh, fantasy world. So I think as far as theme wise, she's very consistent, but it's just a lot of different stuff she's doing. Um, but it's just amazing. Like all the views she's getting, it's just insane. 
Let's see on her playlist. She see she does have the van life filled out and the book binding, but I think she could do a lot more, a couple different sets of playlists, like painting, the van build. I mean, obviously she has the van build, but uh, book binding, a little bit different projects. She could kind of split that up and have that on the homepage so to filter a little better, but obviously she's killing it with a million viewers. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely not there, so. Great music, um, great storytelling, a lot of B-roll to kind of build up the drama, a lot of different segments to kind of keep your interest, like where is this story going? So a lot of different mysteries she's adding up in there. So really strong from that aspect. Pretty good painter, I would say. I was surprised, I was kind of hesitant at first. I'm like, oh, it's just a gamer thing. They're probably just painting really easily, but it's actually really high levels painting skills, really original projects that really build up a lot of tension and draw a lot of interest because they're super original. So that's a really strong point. If you want to do painting tutorials, try to come up with something original. Don't just do the same thing over and over and over again. It's going to get really boring. So if you can come up with something really interesting, it's this really interesting angle, fitting between van life, fitting between figurines, painting, and kind of combining all those three worlds into one uh, cohesive theme is really smart, I think. And I think she does a bodysuit as well. So a lot of different painting projects that are just off the wall kind of different than you would imagine and just put a lot of effort into the production value of the video yeah just really overall it's really interesting to watch i think especially from the video side is see how to make your video better as far as how to put the right lighting change it up camera angles zoom in and out and cut differently so she has a lot of different really good advanced video skills besides just making great stuff so i would check her out it's nerd forge uh, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next Artist React video. Thanks for watching, guys.